The naming convention is a set of rules that help developers to make readable and clean codes. I am Muhammad Sahib Hona and in this video I will briefly review the naming convention in C Sharp. Instead of using personal driven examples, I will consider some common.NET classes to find well naming principles. During the first part, I will talk about the capitalization convention. There are two ways to distinguish words within names, Pascal casing and camel casing. With Pascal casing convention, the first character of every word in the identifier is uppercase. We use Pascal casing convention for almost all identifiers, including namespaces, classes, interfaces, constructors, protected fields, constant variables, methods, properties, delegates, events, and enumerations. Let's look at examples in each group. The list of T is a class in system.collections.generic namespace. This class implements several interfaces such as iList, iRead-onlyList, iCollection, and iEnumerable interfaces. Default capacity is a constant variable. This class has three constructors, a default and two parameterized constructors. Also, list class has a number of properties, including capacity and count, and contains many methods such as add, clear, remove, and reverse. Next, consider the file info class from system.io namespace. This class has three constructors. There are four properties in file info class, length, directory name, directory, and is read only, and many methods to manage files. The file info class inherits file system info class. I'm using the file system info class to provide you an example of protected fields. As you may notice, a special case is made for the system.io namespace in which both letters are capitalized. In general, for two-letter acronyms namespaces, both characters are capitalized. However, for acronyms with three or more characters, only the first letter is capitalized, such as system.link. The file attributes type is an enumeration that is decorated with the flags attribute to allow a bitwise combination of its member values. The file mode type is another enum to specify how to open a file. All enum names are in Pascal case. As I said earlier, the name of the delegates is Pascal cased. .NET includes predefined generic delegate types, func and action. They are included in the system namespace. The console class is one of the most famous classes in .NET. This class contains a lot of fields, properties and methods. Also, this class has an event, cancel key press. This event occurs when the control and the C key or the control and the break key are pressed simultaneously. With camel casing convention, the first character of the first word in the identifier is lowercase, while the first character of every subsequent word is uppercase. We use camel casing convention for internal and private fields, local variables, as well as parameters. Let's come back to the list class. Items, size, and version are three fields in this class. Usually, we use underscore prefix for the internal and private fields. In file info class, the third constructor takes four parameters, original path, full path, file name, and is normalized. All are camel cased.
The upshot is that you don't need to memorize anything. You have a powerful reference at hand, and that is the built-in .NET identifiers. Now, I would like to talk a little about choosing words for the name of the identifiers. In general, class and structure names are nouns or noun phrases. List, file info, and file system info are class names. In .NET, it's common to add full or part of the base class name as a suffix to the name of the derived class to show the relationship between classes. For instance, the file info class inherits file system info as we have seen earlier. The memory stream and file stream derive from a stream class. The argument null exception and argument out of range exception both derive from argument exception. And the argument exception inherits system exception. The stream reader inherits text reader. And the stream writer inherits text writer. Sometimes the name of the class has suffixes that show the technical pattern of the class. For example, a string builder class in system.text namespace or task factory class in system.threading.tasks. The name of the interfaces are nouns and noun phrases. In C sharp, interfaces begin with the letter I, such as I list and I read only list. When interfaces representing capabilities, the name of the interfaces are adjectives or adjective phrases. For instance, the I enumerable interface or in the array class, I clonable, I structural comparable and I structural equitable. As we have already seen, in the list of T, the letter T is used as the generic type parameter name. It is possible to add suffixes to the name of the type parameter. Consider generic dictionary in system.collections.generic namespace, which uses T key as the type parameter name for the key and T value as the type parameter name for the value. In C sharp, usually the name of bit enumerations or enumerations with flag attribute is plural. As an example, the file attributes enum name is plural, but file mode is singular. Also, using an enum suffix in enumeration type names is not common and is considered a bad naming convention. The method names are verbs or verb phrases to show they are the means of taking action. For example, in console class, read key, clear, read, read line, and right are all samples whose names are action verbs. The name of fields and properties can be nouns, noun phrases, or adjectives. The name of Boolean fields and properties may be prefixed by is, can, or has. For example, in list class, is read only property, or in memory stream class, can read, can seek, and can write or has value property of nullable types. When a field or property is a type of collection, its name is plural. An example of this case is the items field in the list class. This is an array type field. Events refer to some action that is happening or has happened. Hence, events are named with verbs and verb tenses to indicate the time when the event is raised. I have already mentioned cancel key press event and its name is self-explanatory. It's noteworthy that there used to be a convention of prefixing a variable name with some lowercase letters which is known as Hungarian notation. The prefix specifies the data type of the variable. Nowadays we do not use this notation in c -sharp programming. In some, the naming regulations result in names that make sense to developers. Following the name conventions will ensure that the names are understandable and consistent.